Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with Park Industries Customer Service Department. On this video, we are going to be talking about water leaks on your cutting head here, um, specifically pertaining to your valve body area. So to start out with here, if we're going to work our way up um, if you are getting a leak out of this bottom weep hole underneath here, that is going to be the surfaces between your valve body and your um, swivel adapter here. Either something's messed up, we need to replace, or it may be that we just need to tighten it up. Working our way up, if it's coming from, if you can tell that it's coming from around the block here, this block that holds the um, cutting head assembly and the valve body itself, that's going to be your bullet seating into your valve body. And we'll get go through that here. If it's the weep hole on the top here, that's going to be the seals in your on-off valve, and that needs to be replaced. We do have another video um, on our on-off valve that you can search on our website there, and that will bring you to how to repair the on-off valve. Here we're gonna concentrate on the bullet seating to the valve body. So I'm going to just take this, loosen this nut. Um, this is just a demo model here, so I don't have a high pressure line hooked up. You would need to disconnect that. Once I unscrew this, you can see my cutting head will drop down. Here I have my adapter and my bullet. So this is our bullet here. Make sure if you have a thimble filter, do not lose the thimble filter if you want to reuse that. And here I would be inspecting my bullet and making sure that everything looks nice and clean, flat. Um, you will see, you should only see one um, line going around that should be perfectly centered on the tip of the bullet here. It should just be a little bit down. That's where the valve body pushes and mates against this bullet to create your seal. We also want to look at our valve body. And this one is a demo model, so it is in rough shape here. But you want to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And then the Right in here, you can see the line going around here, that that's where the bullet mates up against the valve body surface. So all that should be nice and smooth, and it should be a perfect straight line going even all the way around. If that is not even, that bullet got pushed into that valve body at an angle, and then you will have to replace that valve body and pop probably your bullet here also. So if you need to replace your valve body, make sure you're probably going to want to replace your on-off valve, the needle and seat also, and put that into a new valve body so everything's new then there. So we're going to show you how to seat this bullet in. I'm going to just slide my valve body back through, grab my bullet and my adapter and my thimble filter if you are running it. I'm going to just slide that in there and make sure on here you put your blue goop on the threads and then also a very thin layer going around the bullet, around the taper. Do not get too thick of a layer. You can cause issues and more leaks with that. So I'm going to just start my adapter in here and push that bullet towards that valve body. Now I do know that this cutting head, it sits up just a little bit. So I'm gonna raise that up and I'm gonna wait until I can just feel that bullet touch that valve body. And I'm not putting hard pressure at all yet on it. We need to make sure that that, valve, that bullet seats tight into that valve body and is perfectly centered. Can't stress this enough, it has to be centered. If it gets pushed in crooked, it will wreck the parts and you will have to replace the parts. So as I'm slowly just threading this in, I'm going to move my valve body here side to side and up and down. 
And I'm just working that around until I use up all the play here, not putting much pressure at all on this adapter or the bullet at all. So side to side and up and down, making sure that's seated perfectly. Once that you are really confident that it is nice and centered, then we'll just take our wrench and tighten everything up. And we would recommend you torque that to the recommended um, torque spec. Once you get that all tight, we can connect our high pressure line, making sure we only have three threads in between the collar and where the taper starts on our high pressure line. And we can thread in our high pressure line and then we are good to test and make sure that we do not have any leaks. As always, if you have any questions, let our customer service department know and we'd be glad to answer those questions. Thank you. Thanks.